You guys happy to see us? I bet you are, huh? Yeah, good boy, good boy. Wow, it burnt right up into the property. Let me see what's what's burnt exactly. It didn't get nothing got the tray. Okay, it's a little rough here, but well, we we got fortunate. <clears throat> yeah, you can see that's that's the fence line. It came in a little bit and. Thank goodness it didn't burn anything else. Shed's still there. It Trailer with the trash. <laughs> today. Yes. Started get, it started to get the shed. Yeah. I wonder. Uh, how lucky do you feel? Very lucky. Very fortunate. Very fortunate. Happy. What, what were you thinking in the last 48 hours when you, when you were down the mountain? Well, <clears throat> uh, the first night a neighbor called and told us the house was spared, but up until that point it was real nerve-wracking, oh, no. disturbing, you know. We've been here 20 years and... Melted my chair. Uh, we'll get you another one. So, yeah, yeah, just uh, relieved now, very relieved. Happy the home's here. <clears throat> you animals. Have to leave your animals behind, or...? We, had, we weren't here when the fire started. We were never able to come come here and get our animals so thank God they're okay and neighbors have been able to take care of them ones that were able to stay so did any of your neighbors and friends lose uh, their property um, yeah yeah these all these houses these were, were neighbors and you know the friends too and uh, a lot of them are you know real nice people and sorry to see their houses go one of the ones across the way here on Ellis was uh, Jerry, and his wife, and older couple. Uh, real really beautiful good. home, nice big home, two and a half acres, totally gone. It yeah, is. it's disturbing. Um, happy to, to to see what's here is here, but it is disturbing. You know, neighbors lost their places, and uh, you know that's never never a good thing.